So, you want to be unhappy. You probably think that you need to be in pain in order to be an interesting person. And you're right. People who care about you will tell you that you don't need to suffer to be important. But just remember, musicians are always most popular the day after they die. So, are you ready to matter to someone? I'm the undisputed greatest writer of all time, is what I shouted in the confines of journals and poems never published. When rejection was constant, I amassed a fortress of verse. You see, to be the greatest was going to get me out of the hell my mind made Oklahoma. Being undisputed was going to shut up all the adults who acted like my timeline was already written. We could begin with the obvious, but dragons demand more than symbols of their power. But this is more about scales, the weight of the world in universe, literal, less, metaphorical, more. Step one, hate yourself. You are presumably a human being between the ages of alive and dead, so chances are you're already there. Congratulations. The relationship between art and life is a complex one. It is often said that art mirrors life situations, but many artists find their lives taken over by the work of creation. Those who strive to do so for the inspiration of others can find themselves drowning in a sea of inadequacies, while those who do so purely for themselves can find peace and solace through art. Through the poetry of Bosia and Neil Hilborn, we examine what happens when art takes over a life, for better or for worse. Life imitates art, a poetry program. Step two, fall in love. People will tell you that this takes years, but we have a secret method that will allow you to fall for anyone in under a week. The trick is, you must be completely unable to tell the difference between love and codependence. Walking 20 years back, I fondly shake my head at the boy who made time linear to give himself history. I'm the undisputed greatest writer of all time. Sounds like a child who never got invited to parties. Reads like a boy fighting against an imposed society. You see, I filled fountains with found pens, wishing words would make everyone fall in love with me. My mother had a baby grand. She taught local kids how to read music chapter by chapter. She'd play at church and at weddings or when drinking white wine with her French friend Chantal. Wine glass in hand, Chantal loved to listen to my mother play. But misplaced in a small town, what can you do when the abandoned train tracks overrun with, with weeds and rust run straight through the backyard? Step three, fall in love again. People will tell you that this is impossible, given the love already inside of you. But they don't know you. Your heart is limitless. Your heart is a well that goes all the way down. You can fit everyone in there. But remember to lie about it, because love can't exist with the knowledge of other love. While you're drowning in my left brain, my, my right hand reaches for your fire. Even as, as the walls are up, the wind is open to your narrow ideas of it. Insecurity has no hold over the nature of balance. The theories die every moment. Step four. At this point, you may be doubting your decision to totally screw up your life. So ask yourself, would you rather be happy or interesting? Would you rather be on the news or just watching it? Happy people don't make history. Happy people make children, then die. The name of the child carries history. From the mystery of the ocean springs imagination. But that's just the sitcom talking. That's just the choose your own adventure within the confines of others' choices talking. The bandwidth of fears talking. The haystack talking to the needle. It broke my nine-year-old free will when the local tough guy showed up at our front door looking 
learn piano lessons. My first thought as I turned on the TV to overhear their conversation was, I bet he wants to play in a rock and roll band. But like the innkeeper in us all, my mother said, I'm sorry, I'm all booked up. Step five, develop a mental disorder that makes you aloof and impossible to contact. When someone accuses you of being a bad person, call them insensitive, instant moral superiority. Well, the undisputed greatest writer of all time grows lonelier with each page in his windowless room. He forgets how little of life is worth it. Sifting through the language, he makes relationships with fictions that never wake, develops back problems and, and hand issues in service to a title. Very gentlemanlike, not raising his voice, he said, Ma'am, what if I came back in a few months? She said, I'm sorry, and closed the door. In my mother's defense, Black sheep lose their beauty. There are only so many lessons you can give for free. Step six. You've been in love with two people for a while now. Tell them about each other. Whichever one stays is the winner. Call your boss a fascist dog lover. Tell your friends fun lies about your other friends. Tell your mother she was the reason you tried to kill yourself. It just isn't depression without total isolation. I just thought those hands that could knock your jaw to the curb needed a chance to touch the ivory keys. Maybe my tune would change fast as I got older, and it was my nose he was breaking in three different places while well, liquored up on his dad's hidden stash. But, but then again, maybe he'd be less likely to do so if his hands were skilled in the art of power chords to play under Skinnerd and Motley Crue. But what can you do? Step seven. Do something to hurt yourself. It may be a bicycle accident. It may be a razor. Literal or not, make yourself bleed. The hate born of misinterpreted experience has slowly waned with the years. When I look at the words, the undisputed greatest writer of all time, they lack the resonance which guide my today. The sequence looks like a cunning lie, each word a reflection of a lesson self-taught the hard way. Well, the undisputed greatest writer of all time can never be, and that will never be me. In the eye of God, you are the instrument, all manner of cloaks and, and devices wither on the vine of time. And who will light the torch to forgotten mazes? What? Great explorer will make an enemy of illusions glued to the front of all shame. And where is your song in the ways of others' incessant singing? Step eight, create something. Paint your scars on the side of a building. Write a poem and shout it at strangers. This is stigmata pornography. This is inspiration. You are the reason they are still alive. You are mourning in a world of midnights. You are so brave. And they want to be brave, just like you. Look at what you have built. Everything you loved has gone. Tell yourself, it was worth it. What else is there to do in a ghost town? watching the last trains pull away, but to open up for business. Mm. Piano lessons for tough guys. 